My next guest has gone from being the top bodybuilder in the entire world to one of the biggest stars in the world. His latest movie is Total Recall, opens tomorrow the 1st of June. Would you welcome Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> It gets bigger every time you come here. It's just terrific, I That's tell you. This, this was really great. Good idea to have those aerobics guys on. Yeah. Great, because I think it, it, those kind of things create a certain inspiration for the American people to go out and do some aerobics and do some exercise, which is very important. Yeah, you're on the President's Council. Yeah. You're the top for That's the right, physical. Yes. So I'm people promoting in fitness now all the time. Of course, not everyone will be able to do the kind of things they did. Oh, I mean, these this guys were really in shape, and the girls also. It was just amazing. Not only but, are they flexible, but the strength. Oh, and the energy and all this stuff. But yeah. aerobics is really one of the best ways of getting in good shape. So yeah. I really was glad to see that before I came out here, to come out with the energy and kind of, you know, I, I, I was following them back there. I was doing my leg crunches and all those things. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you bump them you up? I was doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he was losing a few inches right away. Yeah. Sure. I have a man that does that for me. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen you. I haven't seen you since the birth of your daughter. That's right. Ka Kathleen, is it? Or? Catherine, yes. Yeah. Yeah. First time. A, I tell you, you this, did. You assisted. You went through the coaching method, uh, right? You I were there. Through, during I went the through the, the whole. First of all, I took the went through the Lamas classes, uh -huh. and uh, which was quite interesting. And uh, then, of course, uh, I went to the hospital with my wife and went through the whole delivery process, which is, of course, a yeah. really great experience. Were you a good coach? I think it was, it was like my wife always says now that I was like a training partner. She says she was screaming at me the whole time, you know, <laughs> five more reps, come on, you can do it, you can do it, five more reps, two more reps, two, okay, yeah, it's coming, okay, terrific, baby looks just like me, great, you know. <laughs> So uh, it was really, it was terrific, and it really brings you much closer together with your wife, you know, doing it together. So they said that's a very dramatic experience, yeah. Really. yeah. And this uh, baby really has enriched our lives. It was more, just, does the baby look more uh, like Maria or you? It's a combination, combination. I would say. Yeah, I, I think she has Maria's calves, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Maria's Cluteus Maximus. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she has my jaws, my jawbone, and my, my eyes, and she has Maria's hair. Yeah. She has, uh, I think, uh, Maria's mother's temperament. Yeah. And, uh, uh, my How do you get along with your mother-in-law? Well, oh, she, yeah, terrific. Yeah. You know, she's wonderful. I mean, because she's a, a great pal. Uh, because you can ask her about anything. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the whole family, as far as that goes, Sergeant Schreiber, Maria's right. father, and her mother. They both are very, very smart, and they're very experienced. They've been in the political arena for a long time, sure. and also in entertainment, very familiar with entertainment. So it's the kind of a thing that if you want to do a film, and you're not sure if this will go well, you know, you can send them the script, and right. they will analyze it in a day, will call you back and say, I think it's a great idea. Eunice usually would scream and say, it's too violent, it's too violent, you can do this movie. Yeah. You know, do something that is for the kids, you know, those kind of things. So I do both now, I do a comedy, and I do an action The thing you did film. with Danny DeVito, twins, was marvelous. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 You were running pretty good. <laughs> well, I tell you, as a matter of fact, I just came over here from Universal Studio because we're shooting right now a, another comedy. Kindergarten uh, Cop? Called Kindergarten Cop, that's yeah. right, yeah. yes. And it's, which is a hilarious script. And it's you had to audition how many children? Uh, we, have, we had to audition thousand children, uh, more than a thousand children. What kind we, of kids were you looking for? Well, we were looking uh, uh, for kids that were between four and the age of four and six. Yeah. And uh, we needed kids that really can perform, that have the personality to be outgoing and do anything that you ask them to do. Right. So you, you test them, you know, you have them all in a classroom and you ask them to do certain things. Uh, you know, you will get up and you say, okay, let's play a fun game. Why don't you, Johnny, play horsey for me? And then this kid jumps up and goes out, yeah, and then runs around the, the circle of all the kids, going totally crazy, falls all over the place, and then all the kids go up and do the same thing. So, I mean, it's a total madness. And to control those kids mm. is the real miracle. But you have to deal with their mothers if they don't get the part, too. 
Well, this is going to be the interesting part, uh, as a matter of fact, part of the story, uh -huh. is that the one of the mothers falls in love with me, and, you know, the, I mean, it's, it's a great, great story. Uh, well, you, as you said, a lot of your films, when you started with Conan and the Predator and so forth, have been um, action and adventure, where the action is with lots of uh, hardware and guns and so mm -hmm. forth. And you mentioned playing a love scene. Now, I, when you did Conan, and you had the kind of love scenes, you right. didn't seem too comfortable at that time. Are you getting more comfortable with that? Oh, now, this scene. movie, I understand, in Total Recall, <laughs> you have, not have, I mean, you are associated with two women, right? Well, it's, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that after Conan, none of my action films really allowed me to have any action with yeah. women at all. I mean, there was no room for women in those right. films. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, when you're running through the jungle, yeah. and, you know, being hunted down by a predator, right. you know, you can't say to some girl, well, let's go around the bush and have some action going here, right? <laughs> You can't. No, it's not an integral part of the no, story. No, it doesn't nah. fit into the story because otherwise the predator gets you, you know? Yeah. So I always have to come out alive in those stories. Of course. So what happened was in Total Recall now there's two love interests, right? The movie starts out right away with a great love scene, mm. you know, just a really wild. But... Well, what do you mean wild? It, well, wild because it is, uh, not only is it wild in the way of what you will see, but it's also wild because then I realized this is not really my wife. She pretends to be my wife, but my memory has been deprogrammed. Because it, it deals with the future, it's a futuristic theme in a movie. Can you go to Mars? My memory is, yeah, exactly. My memory is deprogrammed, and uh, so I think this is my wife, and it really is not. But then, when, of course, when I get to Mars, there is my real love interest. Yeah. You know, so did she buy the story about you thinking that was really? <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she didn't. Believe oh, me, she, she did not. So anyway, so it, it, it's fun to, uh, to actually, when you for so long you haven't had the chance to do those kind of scenes, right. to finally do two. To do, you know, have two uh, girls, uh, two love interests in the film. Of course, when you come home at night, uh, your wife immediately is on top of you and says, well, what, what happened today? Sure. You did the love scene. I saw it in the script mm -hmm. that there was a love scene. What happened? So then you have to go and say, well, there's a certain point, Maria. First of all, it was very difficult uh, because there's a certain <laughs> point... <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, I mean, at a certain a point, break. I had to do it, but then when it got really into the nitty-gritty and we had, the, you know, the... The clothes came off, and so yeah. they brought a stuntman in. I said, can you believe that? And when my wife said, oh, that's good. That makes me feel much better. Sure. So these are the kind of things that you have to dodge around with, you know? I mean, you have to create little stories. You're to learning life. to be a real Hollywood star. Oh, yeah. You have to be a diplomat <laughs> about those things. And would you have ever thought, when you were a young boy in Austria, 14, 15 years old, envision the kind of success you've had? I mean, it's, it's been monumental. No, I, I tell you honestly that uh, I was dreaming about being a bodybuilding champion. Yeah, no. And I, was, I, I saw a lot of Hercules movies as a kid. And I said to myself, wouldn't it be great if I win the bodybuilding championships and then do also movies like that? So that's as far as my dream went when I was right. a kid. But then when I started acting over here, I, I expanded the horizon. And I said to myself, I can do more than that go beyond that and so I started pushing and pushing and I was very fortunate that I worked with good directors that yeah. really helped me that directed me in such a way that I came off on the screen really well and as a matter of fact Paul Verhoeven who directed Total Recall yeah. he has done such an extraordinary job that he really should get all the credit for the way this movie turned out you will see me on all the covers on the newsstand and you know the star usually gets right. a lot of the credit but I give the credit to him because he pulled it off he did it all that is such a that. supreme movie. Well, let's show a little excerpt from it before you go. I don't know, is there, does this need a set up at all? Or? No, we talked a little bit about it already. The, Watch the, the monitor here, folks. This is from uh, Total Recall. Hello, Hauser. Still bulging, I see. What you been feeding this thing? Blondes. I think it's still hungry. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here, Hauser. Look who's talking. Hey, Tony. Give the big guy a break. Relax. You'll live longer. Come on. You son of a bitch. You're alive. I thought the Cohagen tortured you to death. Well, I guess it didn't. And you couldn't get me a message? You never even wondered what happened to me? How's it, thank God, you're alive? 
Melina. Melina. Hmm? Melina. Look, I'm telling you something. What? I don't remember you. What are you talking about? I don't remember you. I don't remember us. I don't even remember me. Well, I know the uh, premiere tonight. Yes. As a matter of fact, we have a, a midnight premiere that is going on right now. And uh, so tomorrow is the, the big opening. And uh, it's going to be, I think, a big hit of yeah. the summer because it has all the action, adventure, and Probably love will be all over the world. Yeah. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank Good you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Here we are.